Welcome to Buchake English for Teens. I'm Hava Steinmetz. And I'm Robbie L. Let's get started by watching today's skit. Wait, where are your Luna Spark costumes? Come again? We were all supposed to dress up as Luna Spark characters. I must have missed the memo. Hey Mia, we match. Yes, Priya gets it. You can always count on Mia to have an interesting costume. Yeah, but too bad she couldn't count on any of her friends dressing up to match. I don't think Mia actually said anything about it to them. True, and they all had great costumes themselves. Priya did dress up as a Luna Spark character though. And what Mia said to Priya is today's point. Priya gets it. You can say that someone gets it when they say or do something that shows they understand what you mean or what you're trying to do. Right. It basically shows that their viewpoint aligns with yours and that you approve of their actions. Now, this is usually said for the benefit of others nearby whose views or actions don't necessarily align with yours. This shows that while they don't get it, the person you are addressing does. Exactly. In the video, we saw that Mia said this phrase to Priya in earshot of her friends who hadn't dressed up the way she was hoping. So she was kind of rubbing it in that they hadn't acted the way she was hoping they would. Okay, let's check out some examples. If no one brings their swimsuit to the beach, but your best friend shows up in his swimsuit, you could say, yes, Sho gets it. Yes, Sho gets it. Or, if you're having a picnic and no one brings any food except for you and one other friend, you might say, Thank you, Akane gets it. Thank you, Akane gets it. Maybe you watched your favorite movie with a group of friends and nobody liked it except for one of them. You might say, Yuki gets it. This movie is a masterpiece. Yuki gets it. This movie is a masterpiece. Is this because I didn't like that movie you showed me? No, that example was entirely fictional. But Fleabix Fighters 5, Revenge of the Florb, is a masterpiece. I didn't get it. Our World English's point today is about the kind of party that people usually have on Halloween. That's right. They were celebrating Halloween and dressing up in costumes. In North America, we simply call this a costume party. In the UK, however, we call this a fancy dress party. Do you also call costumes fancy dress? No, we still call them costumes. Fancy dress is only used to describe a party where you wear costumes. I see. So I could say, I'm going to buy a costume for the fancy dress party. I'm going to buy a costume for the fancy dress party. That's right. Also, if you want to ask if people will be wearing costumes to a party, you can ask, is the party fancy dress? Is the party fancy dress? Well, whether you call it a fancy dress party or a costume party, it's always fun to dress up and have fun with your friends. How about you, Hava? Are you dressing up this Halloween? Well, of course. I'm going to dress up as Florb from Fleabix Fighters. Of course you are. Well, that's all for today. Be sure to try these phrases out and don't forget to have fun. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and 
give us a like. See you next week.